Hey there, my name's Tiff Pino. Uh, I'm from Edmonton, and you might have seen me on Netflix's Cook It All Cost. Check it out. Uh, I'm here today at The Kitchen at the Stanley Milner Library. And today I'm gonna show you a couple recipes you can do if you have an abundance of zucchinis like I do in my garden right now. So we're gonna start off by making some pizza lili. So my family, that means zucchini fritters. Uh, and today we're lucky enough, we actually have some zucchini blossoms, uh, which you can pick nice and early in the morning. And some beautiful zucchini here that we've cut into medallions. I've ribboned some uh, nice basil leaves and I've chopped some up nice and thin. Then we're gonna put that in the batter. And then of course, we're gonna start with flour here. I'm gonna add a generous amount of salt. And we're gonna always be tasting and seasoning to taste because we want it to be good. We're gonna add some water, a little bit at a time. And you're probably like, well, how, how much do you have there, Tiff? And I'd be like, I have no idea. It's all by sense. You're gonna look, you're gonna be like, okay, I need a little thinner, I need a little thinner. We're looking for about a pancake batter, a little thinner than a pancake batter. So you're gonna get that. We're way too thick still. So we're adding more water. Oh, we're getting closer. Meanwhile, we're gonna turn up that olive oil we got warming up in the pan. You can use canola oil too. That's a beautiful frying oil. I love the taste of olive oil. You do half and half as well. Okay. This is looking good. Tiny a little bit more. Oh yeah. Then we're gonna add that basil I talked about. We're gonna add a nice amount of Pecorino Romano cheese. It's delicious. It's salty. It gives a great flavor to anything. So we're gonna put a little bit in there to add to that batter. You can do it without those things too. It can just be flour and water. And then you can add those things at the end. I like to do both. Okay, that is looking good. And you know what? You try it, if it works, great. If it doesn't work, you do it differently next time. So we're gonna turn this down a little bit. We don't want an explosion in here. All right. We're gonna start with, let's start with the medallion. So you're gonna throw some in right into your batter. Let's just do a couple. So we're gonna get it nice and dipped in there. I can see my oil's ready, but you can always drop a little batter in there to check. You want a little bit of a sizzle, you don't want explosions. Oh, that is nice, it's perfect. And now, well, we all really wanna try, and you can leave those little stems on, they actually make really good for dipping, but we're gonna use this like that, gentle as we can. That whole zucchini blossom can get fried and eaten. So we're gonna check. These don't really get too brown. They're gonna kinda stay almost like a tempura. You're looking for that change in texture and, and color in the zucchini. The zucchini peel starts to get a little darker and the flesh starts to get a little more translucent. These flowers are not gonna take long. Okay, we're ready to flip. Turn that heat up a little bit. You want it nice and crispy. Oh yeah. If you feel like you gotta flip it one more time back, that's okay. I like to give it at least one more flip back. Make sure I'm happy. All right, here we go. But gonna be jumping a little bit as Nona used to say. So if you have one of those protective lids, you can put that over. Drain some of that oil. Awesome. Then we're gonna get a little bit of cheese for each one. Cause why not? Cause we love cheese. Of course you can make this vegan too, which is great. But I like it like this. A little bit of fresh basil on each one without the paper towel. Hey, bon appetito. <laughs> 